more games of the regular season for the Anaheim Ducks. Gensloff, just stoic person, yep. being captain for 12 years with the Anaheim Ducks. So he is done. He's retired. He's on this road trip. What's next for this franchise? As we embark on our, our last number of games, we're, we're just looking for habits. We, we want good habits. We're, we want to be accountable to those habits. Uh, we understand where we're at uh, with, with our team right now. Backhand shot, score! Sonny Milano finds a trailing Mahura, in he comes, he scores! Josh Mahura! And Anaheim will win tonight in San Jose. This was a real solid performance from Anaheim. You know, you have to finish the year hard. Everybody, you know, no matter your situation, you're always playing for something. That's the most respectable thing, is that we haven't given up and, and we certainly take a lot of pride in, in ourselves and, and in this team. So we want to go, go down on the best note that we can, but uh, we also have to realize that we, we need to take steps for the future as well. Final thoughts on what's been a very unique season for the Anaheim Ducks. One thing that we do know is that the winds of change will continue over the summer. You know, I think this season has been uh, a bit of a roller coaster for us, but you know, I think for the most part, there's been a lot of positives. Eight game win streak, they've outscored opponents 33 to 13. Come on, Pete, crack that puck, man. Not just that they're winning, they're scoring to win. It's, it's one of the greatest stories of the league so far. They're fast, they're aggressive, uh, they got guts, they got character, they got energy. These young guys come in with taking, I think, big steps in their game give us a tremendous look to the future here. Here you can have, oh look at this! Oh, he jumped down! Oh my goodness, what a goal! I mean, he, he truly is a special player already in this league and, and he's he's still got a long ways to go and, and that's exciting. If you look at Jamie Drysdale, him coming out of the OHL, effortless skater, these are gonna be two of the brightest young players and future superstars in the league. Making that transition from a junior player to stepping in and, and um, playing a pretty key role on a team at such a young age, um, I, that's something that I've been through as well. And, and he's a great kid, and it's going to be a, a special player for a long time. You have Troy Terry, who was named to the All-Star Game yesterday after winning the last men in vote for the Pacific Division. He's right up there with Connor McDavid in terms of longest point streaks this season right now. I mean, I knew from the moment I saw this guy last year that he was a special player. I mean, you could just tell him. Obviously, he wore a letter down the stretch, so he, he definitely felt better in his own skin out there, I guess. The Ish! The bonds that these young men have gained through all of that is just totally essential to having a connected group moving forward. The general manager of the Ducks, Pat Verbeek. inside NHL Network Studios for the 2022 NHL Draft Lottery. Don't want to let our foot off on the, uh, the gas. I think we saw earlier in the year, we, we, we were right in the mix. You know, you understand what kind of process that we have going on here and what we're trying to build. So we also have to realize that we, we need to take steps for the future as well. I think going into the off season, it's, it's an exciting time for the group that we have. I think we have a, a good support group from veteran players to young guys, and now we just have to be able to build around that and move forward. Number 10 pick in the 2022 NHL Draft belongs to the Anaheim Ducks.